Welcome everybody, I'm going to show you how to build OpenCV for Visual Studio 2010 with threading building blocks support. First of all, we need to get the OpenCV library. We can go Downloads Windows. Okay, so this is the Downloads page. If we scroll down, we can see that there is already an OpenCV Windows package for Visual Studio 2010. So you might think this is easy, but if we read a little bit further, it does not have thread building support and it also does not have the integrated performance primitive support. We are not going to use integrated performance primitive support because you need to pay for it. It's only an evaluation you can download for free. First of all, I've tried the 2.2 version, but it contains a bug when you need webcam support. So this was a known bug and it's already solved in the nightly build but it's not solved in this build so I'm just gonna select the previous version of OpenCV 2.1 now select the OpenCV 2.1 Windows version download it and extract it I've already downloaded it and put it in my h slash libraries folder so now extract it here okay we've extracted OpenCV 2.1 to build OpenCV we need CMake. This is the only way to build OpenCV. Go to the cmake.org website and press download. Download the latest version 2.8.3 and install it. Now open CMake 2.8 and press CMake GUI. It asks you where is the source code. Select browse source. Go to the folder where you extract it. The OpenCV library, it's in libraries, OpenCV 2.10. Select OK. Where to build binaries, select browse build. Go to the same directory where you extracted OpenCV, and I created a directory called build. Select OK so it, it will build in this directory. To start we need to configure the build files. We select Visual Studio 2010 because that's the environment we're going to configure it for. There are a lot of different options so you can select whatever option you need. We want to use the default native compilers. Now it's going to check if our compiler is supported and is working. Okay now we get an overview of what is being built and what is not being built. We're not using the integrated performance primitives and we're not using thread building blocks. So we want to use the thread building blocks. We first need to download this. Select download stable release thread building blocks 3.0 update 5. Download the Windows package. Just extract it. So our thread building blocks is extracted right here and it contains binaries for Visual Studio 2010 already compiled. Go back to CMake. We see these values in red. You can select whatever you want. For example, if you want latex docs or you want to build the examples, you can select these values. We need to build threading building blocks. Scroll down, select with TBP and press configure again. Now it says threading building block include directory not found so we need to select the directory where to find the include files we just extracted it navigate to the place where you extract the thread building blocks press configure again make sure your configuration is now using threading building blocks as you can see here it's set to yes press configure again and press generate Generating is done. So CMake has now generated build files we can use to build OpenCV. Now open the OpenCV.sln file to open the solution so we can start the building. It is now parsing the files in the solution. So we need to wait until this parsing is done. This will take a while. If it's to use it's ready, so it's done parsing the files. Now select which version you want, debug or release and go to build, build solution. This will again take a while.
If you get any errors during the build, then edit the property pages Microsoft cpp.win32.user and set the include directory where to find the thre threading building blocks and set the library directory where to find the libraries for Visual Studio 2010. Then press apply and OK. And then clean solution and then build solution to build the solution with threading building block support. OpenCV has finished building, now we need to configure Visual Studio for use. So, this is the contents of the OpenCV directory. We can find the include files under the include OpenCV directory. And we can find the library files under the build lib debug for the debug libraries and the release for the release libraries. There are also DLLs involved, those are stored in the bin directory debug for the debug DLLs, release for the release DLLs. Now let's configure Visual Studio. We need to do this through property pages and you have this property page type by default added to your project. We do not want to add OpenCV to this default property page because we are probably not using OpenCV in all of our projects. So I recommend creating a new property page for the debug and the release versions of your project. Right click debug, add new property sheet. Config OpenCV. Press add. Double click the property page, go to VC++ directories. You already see the boost and the thread building blocks right here because you probably want to use those in all of your projects. Now you can click this line and edit it. So for this property sheet you can add a new include path. Press the browse button, browse to your library location, open CV, include, open CV, select folder, press OK. Do the same for the library directory. Browse to your libraries, build, lib, debug. Press apply. You will see that the red lines here are now gone, so Visual Studio can find your include files. But if we try to build, you will see that it has an error. So you need to supply which libraries you want to link. You can find you can open the property sheet again, go to the linker menu, press input, click additional dependencies and edit. You can find which libraries to link to right here. You will always need the CX core two ten lib and you will probably also need the CV 210D. Press OK, press Apply, press OK. Compile. Now it compiles just fine. There is one more problem if we need to run it. It says cannot find the CX Core 210 DLL. Press OK. So we can either solve this doing two things. We can add the bin directory to our path variable. We can also copy these DLLs into our project. So this is here's where our executable is in our project. We can copy the DLLs right next to it and then it runs. You can follow the exact same steps for the release version but then you need to select instead of the postfix D you can just remove that one and then you have the release libraries thanks